Dr. Arthur Cecil Cyrus. A national hero to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Arthur Cecil Cyrus is largely responsible for reforming healthcare in that country. Trained as a general surgeon, Dr. Cyrus worked long hours to reduce the backlog of patients requiring surgery from disfiguring diseases such as tumors. He also specialized in skin graft surgery, which he performed using equipment he made himself. Born on January 6, 1929 in the coastal village of Leyu, St. Vincent, Cyrus knew from the tender age of seven that he wanted to become a doctor. In those days of the 1930s, there was a, a rather iniquitous uh, setup where the doctor came in his white sports car at 11 o'clock. He went to the rectory where those of us needing attention were. And he, those who could pay the shilling got to see him and by 12 o'clock he left. And this saddened my childhood heart. I thought this is unfair and so I, I vowed to become a doctor. He attended the St. Vincent Boys Grammar School and excelled in the classics and history. Determined to fulfill his dream of becoming a doctor, he set out to conquer the sciences. So, stepwise I planned. I bought the necessary textbooks and I began to teach myself those subjects. Within six months, I took the Cambridge School Certificate in, the, in um, Chemistry and Biology and I got distinction, two A's. He was successful in his external examinations and migrated to the United Kingdom in 1950. The United Kingdom was a known territory for Cyrus, but he soon warmed up to his studies at the Queen's University of Belfast and was awarded a first exam scholarship. In 1953, he became the first overseas student to be awarded the coveted Johnson Symington Medal in Anatomy. In 1954, he graduated with his BSc in anatomy and qualified as a surgeon in 1961, specializing in ophthalmology. After 13 years of living in England, Dr. Cyrus returned home and was shocked by the primitive conditions of the hospitals. So he immediately embarked on a crusade to overhaul the healthcare system. I was the first trained surgeon in the history of the island. And I detected that there was a tremendous backlog of clinical work that had to be done. It hadn't been done over the years. There were tremendous deformities of bone and joint. There were enormous tumors that people carried around. In 1976, Dr. Cyrus opened the first private hospital in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Botanic Hospital, specializing in performing eye and skin graft surgery. He also helped to set up maternal and childcare clinics and to improve operating theaters and casualty departments. All this while working to reduce the backlog of patients requiring surgery at the Colonial Hospital. In 1983, Dr. Cyrus was awarded the Order of the British Empire. He was also a recipient of the Companion of the Order of St. Michael and the St. George. He is also the first Vincentian to be elected Fellow of the prestigious Royal College of Surgeons. Although retired, he opened in 2002 the Cecil Cyrus Museum of Medical Specimens, which displays the 1,000 specimens, 3,000 photographs, hundreds of x-rays, and the collection of medical instruments he collected during his four decades of practice, as well as the pathological atlas he produced in 1989. An avid sportsman, Dr. Cyrus represented his school in cricket and football. At university, he took up squash and introduced this sport to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In 1981, he and his wife hosted the first Caribbean Junior Squash Championship. Over the years, he has also sought to improve the lives of young people by delivering lectures to motivate and inspire them to achieve great things. Dr. Cyrus has fulfilled his childhood dream of truly improving the quality of life of his people. He attributes his success to his wife Catherine, a nurse, and lives by the philosophy, life is beautiful, to preserve life is beautiful.